Integration Unit A, the Visual Workshop. We're going to go to our Integration Unit A folder with the rest of your data files and scroll down and you'll find two files that we need for this exercise. One of them is an Excel file, A15, and one of them is a Word file, A16. So we'll go ahead and open both of those. When you open them, it's likely that one will lay over the other, so you'll only see one at a time. If you right-click your taskbar, you can choose Show Windows Side by Side. Now, if you have more than just those two windows open, go ahead and close any other windows, and then do it again. Right-click on your taskbar, Show Windows Side by Side, and that way you can split the screen uh, evenly. If we pay attention to the left over here, this is our word processing. Um, paragraph that we want to place right in here in, uh, in between the heading and the tabulation here, the product um, descriptions. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to insert, so I'm going to right click and choose insert. We're going to have to insert a few extra, I'll just, and you can actually make this faster by highlighting let's say four of them and insert four. Not quite sure how many we need, but that looks like it might be big enough there to allow us to get our word process document in there. So I'm going to come over to my word process document and I'm going to highlight it and choose copy or control C. And then I'm going to come over. All right, position your cursor in the first blank row between the heading and the table and we'll do a paste special. We'll do a paste special and we're going to bring this in as a word document. All right, let's get in there and um, double click so that we can make revisions. Now don't worry that it looks like it went away. If you do a control A you can select all. Let's go to 14 point and then what we want to do is we want to indent three spaces from the right and the left. So the best way to do it probably is to go into page layout and see how your indent left and indent right are right here and we'll make this 0.3 for a third of an inch and 0.3 for a third of an inch and let's click away and let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good, except that I think we should line the box up with this yellow here. Okay, we're going to start here in uh, the two-pack column. We're going to type a formula which is equal to, and it will be B12 times 2, where 5 times 2 is $10. Remember, you can use your fill handle. By double-clicking that fill handle, it will fill all the way down. This one will be equal to our B12 times 4, and then we can fill that down. And I believe that does it. That's what yours should look like. This is the end of the video.